done doing some praying, and this is a difficult message for me. It's the truth, but it's a very difficult message for me because I will also be speaking against some things that I know people I love deeply are stuck with at the moment. And I have people that I love that are homosexual or are drug addicted and I have people that I love that are just stuck not living the right way. It's hard imagining that they wouldn't see the kingdom of heaven and that's why this message is difficult for me. First Corinthians 6 9 to 11 to start. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. When it talks, it speaks against homosexuality, they speak against masturbation, actually, because technically fornication would include masturbation. It speaks against adultery. It speaks against idolatry, which is really, in essence, putting things ahead of God. It speaks against thievery, against desiring things deeply, against drug addiction, against partying, against exploiting others for gain. If these are titles that you claim, God will set you free from these things. Now, I would be a hypocrite to say that the second that I got the Holy Spirit, I conquered all of these things instantly. That would be a lie. But at the same time, I believe that that's the end goal. After we get the Holy Spirit, we have to be seeking to conquer all of these things continue to push through that addiction and find what it is that's triggering us to fail and that's the same with drugs that's the same with adultery that's the same with really any of these things i think that it's important to stay in the word because the word is powerful and the word changes you and it's living and i believe that that's how i have been able to stay away from the things that i used to do that were bad for me the Holy Spirit and hearing the word and listening to it and following it. The Bible says, be doers of the word and not just hearers. You have to follow it too. And I'm going to be going to Matthew 10, 34, where Jesus says, Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law a man's enemies will be the members of his own household and it says you know anyone who loves these people more than me is not worthy of me so it says whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me to follow jesus is not popular you can choose to be popular or you can choose to follow jesus you can choose to speak the truth or you can choose to be popular the truth is not popular romans 9 20 talks about how since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. This is basically saying that just by nature and how everything works, that it should be obvious that there's a God. It goes on to say, for although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like a mortal human being and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator who is forever praised. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received themselves the due penalty for their error. 
Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to a depraved mind so that they do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossips, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. And this is the state of our world right now. And this is why you're not going to be popular for following God. 1 John 2 verse 4 Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Bye.